Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the BattleBots prediction game, week 7. Yeah, that's right, we are in week 7. I think we're past the halfway line in the uh, fight card format. We're getting closer and closer to that bracket and deciding who is going to fight it out for the giant nut. As you can see, a change of scenery this week. We've gone from the spare bedroom to the front room. And mainly it's because I can show you this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. There's a big box that has arrived. And, well, if you keep an eye out, you might see what's in the big box. Uh, we've been looking to really step up Robot Rumble for next season. Don't worry, it is in pre-production and the contents of that box will be used to make this season uh, bigger and better than it's ever been before. And I can promise you that. I'm very excited about what's in the box. Anyway, end of that tease. Let's get on to see how you guys did last week. The scores are on the screen now. And as you can see, you were a very indecisive bunch last week. Um, three fights you couldn't decide amongst you. It was three splits of who you thought was going to win. So in the end you get half points and you got three of those which means you're back to whole numbers and you're nine points ahead of me still. Uh, the only one that we really uh, didn't do well on together as a unit was the hijinks kraken fight and the Smee deep six fight but let's be honest both of those um, had mitigating circumstances which meant that they weren't as good fights as we were expecting well the deep six me fight wasn't as good as we were expecting and the kraken hijinks fight an interesting judge's decision um i think i said at the time if that fight is on robot wars that's a kraken win but that's just how it is that is the battle box rule set and i think the judges did pick the right winner based off of the battle box rule set i still think the battle box rule set lacks in many areas and about the deep six me one another point i wanted to make on that and before we get into it i know i'm sort of doing a little mini review of this week i think we need to give props i know a lot of people on youtube are saying god that was an awful fight that was terrible why did you why did you show that and you know it'd be very easy for battle bots to go okay you two fight again that was not the result we wanted that was not what we wanted for television um can you go back in and fight again but um, the fact that they don't do that, they take the results as is, take the fights as is and, and air what they have, gives it more credibility as a competition, as a sport, um, where the results, if the fight is crap, the fight is crap. And I think it's important that we have bad fights because when good fights happen, that's better for the, uh, for the brand, I think. That's better for the, for the competition. So uh, without further ado, Let's look at the fight card for, t for this week. So here we go with the fight card for this week. This is my reaction to it. I actually don't know the main event. And uh, this is an interesting fight card. I looked at the bottom for a second and thought Switchback Slammo was the main event. And I was like, that's really weird. Uh, no, it's Whiplash Scorpios is the main event. Interesting. Interesting. Copperhead Fusion, huge retrograde, blip, ice wave, Cobalt's in there. Okay, okay. Let's just jump straight in, shall we? Jump straight into the first fight. The first fight tonight is Bloodsport versus Sub-Zero. Now, Bloodsport lost uh, their first fight against Whiplash in a main event. Now, if you remember, that was the one and only knockout via upper deck. So, uh, of course, they were they, they couldn't self right. Their spinner had stopped, and they couldn't self right. But they ended on the upper deck, and it was the first time we've ever seen that happen in BattleBots because the upper deck obviously is new this season. I'm still gonna, I'm calling it the upper deck now. I've fallen for the marketing. It should be the shelf. The shelf. Bloodsport ended up on the shelf, and it was the one and only knockout this season on the shelf. As for Sub-Zero, they had a YouTube exclusive against Shatter and they got their, their head caved in. Uh, pretty much what I expect. They got their head caved in. Who do I think is going to win this fight? Well, you know, if Sub-Zero was a more creditable machine, 
in terms of taking knocks, I might go for it based off of the wedge, based off of the fact that Bloodsport was tipped over and couldn't self right, based off of the fact that Blood Zero, Blood Zero, great name, Blood Zero, somebody make that robot, Blood Zero, uh, Bloodsport uh, had some you know reliability issues in its first fight, but I think they're going to come back strong. Uh, I think they're going to get the win. I think it's one of those where they feed a weaker robot uh, to a stronger robot to make sure they get to the round of 16. And I love Sub-Zero. I love Flippers. Um, and, you know, I just feel so... They, they almost hit every year Sub-Zero. And I'm just looking for them to get their lucky break. And I don't think Bloodsport is that lucky break. Uh, Bloodsport for me. Our next fight, speaking of... Uh, feeding robots to other robots. It's Cobalt versus Ghost Raptor. And really, I don't think I have to discuss much about this. Ghost Raptor lost their first fight to Newcomer Glitch. I thought they looked very poor. I think Ghost Raptor is, is not nearly the robot it was back in 2015 when we first saw it. I think Cobalt will be seething after their loss to, it was to Fusion. Um, and I think they're gonna rip Ghost Raptor limb from limb. I think they, they wanna make sure that Cobalt is in that top 32. And uh, I think they are gonna rip Ghost Raptor to shreds. And I've really got no more to say to that. Cobalt with the win. Ice Wave versus Deadlift. It's another one of those fights where I feel like they've taken a, a, a considered weaker machine and paired it up against a stronger machine. Of course, both Ice Wave and Deadlift are both after a loss, both had a loss. Ice Wave got turned over really easily in its first fight, while Deadlift lost to, to Jackpot. Uh, but I think Ice Wave are gonna come back strong in this fight. They've been uh, lost their mojo a little bit after their, their comeback. It's been really great to see them back, but they've uh, not been particularly strong in their comeback fights so far. You know, the one in Bounty Hunter and the one in, uh, in Fight Night. Deadlift, on the other hand, I put a lot of stock into in their last fight, and they lost. Do I think they can win this fight? They have the wedge to deal with a uh, horizontal spinner like Ice Wave. They could do it. You know, if, if there's going to be a fight that has a surprise upset, it could be this. I could see Ice Wave getting, hitting that wedge and being turned turtle. But I'm going to stick with what I think is the more probable and I think Ice Wave is going to split Deadlift. Maybe not in half, but they're going to rip chunks off of them. And, uh, you know, it gives me very Ice Wave versus Vanquish vibes from, uh, from 2018. Uh, I think Ice Wave are going to get the knockout here. I'm going for Ice Wave. So the next fight is Blip versus Overhaul. And, you know, both these machines have got something to prove in this next fight. Blip obviously got a win against Rusty. But, you know, it, it, it was only Rusty, and it wasn't the new Rusty, it was the old Rusty after we uh, found out that the new Rusty wasn't ready in time. And, you know, I, I, re I really did feel bad for, for old Rusty. He looked a bit decrepit, and it was a rather easy win for Blip. So they'll be wanting to win to prove that, you know, they've got a bit of, a bit of mojo. Um, as for Overhaul, of course, they lost to Ribot. It was Overhaul's great comeback uh, fight and I thought they were going to win I think if I remember correctly which in hindsight and I probably put a bit more stock into Ribot shouldn't I um, but yeah they'll be wanting to prove that you know overhaul still a competitive design that they can still take it to machines and overall who I think is going to win this it's all about the low ground again isn't it it, re it really is all about the low ground who, who I think is going to get underneath who first I, th I think it's going to be Overhaul. I think Overhaul are going to get underneath Blip first. And, you know, I think Overhaul can control the fight, you know. Uh, as much as I want Blip to do well, I just don't think Overhaul is the right machine for Blip to fight. And uh, I think Overhaul are going to uh, go one-on-one -on -one now. I think they're going to get a win, and I think they're going to control this fight. Our next fight is huge against Retrograde. Now, Huge uh, had a huge upset against Riptide in their first fight, while Retrograde lost to Defender, if I remember correctly. No, Retrograde. No, no, Retrograde beat Rampage, didn't they, in that um, 
in that YouTube exclusive fight. So yeah, Ram uh, Huge versus Retrograde. I think Huge is going to get the win here. It's another one of those feed of a weaker machine to a stronger one. Retrograde could use those arms to sort of scoop up Huge and maybe hold them in the air or something, but I think Huge is too bouncy. It's too unpredictable. And I think that that blade is, is going to cause damage to the top armor of Retrograde. And I think if it, if it isn't a knockout, it's going to go to the judges and we know they value damage so, so much. And I think even if Retrograde controlled and were more aggressive, Huge will deal enough damage and won't be knocked out. Uh, so, I mean, they'll win either by knockout or by a judge's decision. So, huge for me. Our uh, second to last fight of the main episode card is Copperhead against Fusion. Now, this one is a bit more like it. Copperhead, of course, beat Lockjaw in that main event. While Fusion beat Cobalt, who's obviously fighting further up, up the card. So it's a 1-0 versus 1-0 fight. And, it, it, you know, it's really difficult, this one, because I don't know how the machines are going to come together. Copperhead, of course, got the wider drum spinner. Fusion got the thinner one, but also got that rear tail horizontal spinner on the back. Fusion didn't look in too much trouble against Cobalt. Copperhead didn't look in too much trouble against Lockjaw. It's a proper good fight, this one. And one that I'm not sure how they're going to come together. It's a 50-50 punt, really, I think. I'm going to go. Do I... I think Fusion might have more in terms of damage output. But Copperhead, I think, is more reliable. So... Can Fusion dish the hit and take it and take hits? It's hard, this one. It's really, really hard. My head says Fusion. I think it's going to be Fusion who wins this fight. I think it's a toss-up. I think it's 50-50. And... I would be fully prepared to get this one wrong. But my thought now, at the time of recording, is Fusion. Oh, should I say Copperhead? No, Fusion. We'll go with Fusion. Oh, that was so hard. If I could go 50-50, like you, the audience, if you get the um, same numbers, I'd, I'd go 50-50. But I can't. I've got to pick someone. I'm going for Fusion. Oh, I don't know. So the YouTube exclusive is Switchback versus Slamo. Switchback lost to Gruff, but put up a very good account for themselves, I thought. I wasn't sure how the spinner on the arm was gonna cope. Did okay. You know what? I'm in the Switchback camp now. I think, you know, give them some good fights. They could prove something. And they're against Slamo, who got ap who got absolutely tanked by Hypershock. But they put on a great show, is what I wanted to say. I ended up saying the two sentences at the same time. Um, but they, I think Slammo can put on a great show. Craig Danby, I've got my Robot Wars Allegiance there. Um, do I think that they can beat Switchback? You know, maybe. Maybe they can. I, I don't know. I'm going to go for Slammo. I think they can pick and toss Switchback around and get the win. Though I do think Switchback can put some damage out. It's going to be hard, this one. I'm going to go for Slammo, though. Slammo, I think, will win this fight. And now it's time for the main event. It is Whiplash versus Scorpios. Great, great. Pretty decent uh, main event. Though I would say, I think on an opening night, this would be mid-card, wouldn't it? This would be a big card fight. This is definitely a, a middle-of-the-season fight card, I think. Whiplash obviously got the win against Bloodsport in their first fight. Scorpio's got the win against Blade, who have been relatively disappointing so far this season. So uh, how do we stack up these two machines? I think Whiplash comes into this fight with a little bit more uh, oomph behind it. I think the win against Bloodsport is more of a statement win than the win against Blade. But, you know, both took on powerful spinners and came out on top. So we know they can take hits. It's going to be a very long fight, I think, this one. I think it might go to the judges. 
I could see Scorpius doing damage to Whiplash, you know, we saw Whiplash fight Saw Blaze, and that did not end well for Whiplash, who got chunks taken out of them in that fight. Scorpios, we know they can take a hit, and I'm not quite sure what Whiplash can do. God, they've got great driving on their side. I'm sure they can um, corral Scorpios to where they want in the battle box, use the hazards. But I honestly think the damage output is more going to be towards Scorpios. And if they can get their machine into a good position, they can cause some real damage to Whiplash. And I think it will go to the judges. And I think damage is weighted so heavily that I think Scorpios is going to win this one. I think Whiplash is going to lose. Though... Don't listen to me, the long time I get things wrong. Whiplash could very easily win this fight. Very, very easily. Um, they could outmaneuver, they could get Scorpio stuck somewhere, maybe on the upper deck, who knows. But just looking at it right now, and in my head, I think both machines, very, very durable, will last the full distance, we will get to the end of the fight. And then when it comes to just decision, Scorpio's weapon, I think, is more potent. And as a result, I think they will pick up the win by the judges. <laughs> I don't know why I paused there. Um, thank you so much for watching uh, the BattleBox prediction game. We need more of you voting down below. The, the we're, we're quite consistently going up with voters until last week, and we dropped back down again. We need more people voting, because then there's less likelihood of a draw, because there's more opinions filtering in here, there, and everywhere. You know, we've had, we had one draw, 50-50 uh, split, half points for the audience. We had three last week. You know, no one wants to see, to see that. We want to see definitively what the audience overall think. We don't want them to see split. So get voting. The link is in the description. All you have to do is fill it out. You have to fill out who you think will win for each fight. It takes 30 seconds. If you've watched this video for however long it's on, you could do 30 more seconds of filling out that uh, poll of who you think will win and you'll help contribute to the audience score, who are battering me. And, you know, I'm gonna need some seriously good, consistent weeks to catch up. My other videos are floating around, probably, as well as a link to my channel. Come check it out. I have another series called Robot Rumble, where I fight robots, and maybe, uh, at the end of the week, I'll be opening that box, and you will see what's inside. Isn't that exciting? And we might just reveal one or two competitors for season three of Robot Rumble. Uh, so yeah, come and check it out. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you, well, on Friday for that unboxing, hopefully. Uh, but if not, I'll see you uh, next week for more BattleBots predictions.